die hair. Woo! Survived another Valentine's. Now some enjoyed it, some hated it, and others, well, they just didn't give up. But to stay in theme to the holiday, I've got a fun little top five for you. Now others are gonna be doing top five love interests, or top five couples, or best kisses. Well, guess what? I'm vulgar, and I wanna use some sensor bars. So here's my top five best love making scenes. Naughty. Five. Now moving to our first game on the list, I'm already gonna start to bend the rules here a little bit. Now God of War, I'm just not looking at one game here in specific, but all of them, because they all have it. I remember the exact emotions I had the first time I played the first God of War, and I saw those lovely ladies in bed at the beginning of the game. It was a perfect blend of surprise and joy. Hey, what happens when I push this button? Wait, oh wow, am I? Yup, I'm banging some ladies right now. Now, of course, it was all implied and you, as you mash the button combinations on screen, but still, you get this in every God of War game, because why not? It only makes sense. Giggity. Four. Now, number four, well, has me thinking outside of the box to get into the box, eh? Yeah, you see what I did there? That's punny, people. Well, some of you may have seen that Lasercorn likes to play with mods and games on his channel, and frankly, it's hilarious. Well, he added a mod to GTA, which <laughs> uh, you could play as Buzz Lightyear and Woody from Toy Story in Grand Theft Auto 4. And luckily, this top five, it didn't stop there. He was able to give Woody's Woody and have Baby making time right in the middle of town with everybody watching. Then of course, when Buzz gets a little freaky dicky, Lasercorn follows up with To infinity and my balls! Cause that's just gonna go down in history right there. Possibly as the moment in history where all of our childhoods collectively die as one. Still counts though. <gasps> Three. Now it's time for the sex scene that started to get this game banned in stores. Now who remembers the hot coffee mod from Grand Theft Auto? Now under the right circumstances, you could wind up going on a date with a girl, and then afterwards, you'd be invited in for some hot coffee. Well, her name must have been Coffee because, well, you got some. Now you don't see much at all, and you're technically even still fully clothed, but it was all about having just full control over the positions and the rhythm of the act itself because let's face it in real life it's all about the rhythm and positions thanks for the sex ed lesson gta two. now number two on our list goes to witcher 2. you should be asking right now well which one because there is a lot of sex in this game and i mean a lot of naked on naked bumping uglies happening but I need to really call out the romantic, romantic moment with Triss. Now first, she's just there hanging out, and then all of a sudden, boom, assassin goes and tries to kill her, and then you jump in and save the day, and then all of a sudden you, you both wind up in this just area that is the most romantic location possible in any game, and it's super convenient. There's a little pool there and everything. And then, here's the kicker right here. Triss, she goes on to magically take her clothes off. Hot. Then, in order for the lovers to cool on down, they take a dip into the pool and they get down and dirty. But it's passionate and in a very loving way. For what that's worth, good for them. Keeping it classy and raunchy. It's a perfect, perfect blend. A little bit of, little bit of nasty and a little bit of, oh, that's so sweet. One. And then finally, number one, we look to the stars. Now, Mass Effect got a lot of shit for having possible romance scenarios and was labeled as smut by some. But hey, these games taught us that you had to talk to the person to get to know them, understand them, and, and earn your bedtime with them. Not just demand it from a floozy. And not all the scenes were smut. Either. Look at the scene with Jack. She comes to you completely vulnerable, a side that she doesn't show anyone, and it's a very sweet, passionate moment. And you don't see any a little like, nudity or anything like that. It's done very tastefully. So way to go, Mass Effect. But I want to call out a very specific scene with Miranda. Cause duh. But why stop there? Yeah, her scene was so awesome. But who remembers that mod 
where you can actually have Miranda fall for Fem Shep. That's right, it's some good old fashioned girl on girl space action. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> all right everyone. I've hit a new low here. This is easily the creepiest I've ever been on Smosh Games. Now, I'm gonna go do something productive. I don't know, like go read a book, something smart that involves intelligence. So in the meantime, why don't you let me know on Twitter, at the Jovenshire, what you think are the best scenes, or, well, you know, simply to call me out on how creepy I am this time. Yeah, guys, till next time, I'll see you later. I am a man, and as a man, I love boobs, breasts, boobies, Melons, mammaries, jugs, I can keep going. They're one of God's greatest gifts to the human species. Everyone loves a nice pair of boobs. That being said, sometimes men get a little overboard with their love for boobs. Sometimes those men happen to be game developers, and sometimes those men create female characters with boobs so ridiculous that it's at a comedic level.